Don't worry, old man, I have a last and I think you'll find decisive witness. Call Private Baldrick. Call Private Baldrick. <laughs> Deny everything, Baldrick. <laughs> Are you Private Baldrick? No. <laughs> But you are Captain Blackadder's Batman. No! <laughs> on, Baldrick, be a bit more helpful. It's me. No, it isn't. <laughs> Sir, I must protest. Quite right. We don't need your kind here, Private. Get out. <laughs> now, George, sum up, please. Oh, right, yes. Uh... <laughs> right, <yes. clears throat> uh, gentlemen. You have heard all the evidence presented before you today, but in the end, it is up to the conscience of your hearts to decide. And I firmly believe that, like me, you will conclude that Captain Blackadder is, in fact, totally and utterly guilty. <laughs> of nothing more... <laughs> ..than trying to do his duty under difficult circumstances. Nonsense! He's a hound and a rotter and he's going to be shot. However, before we proceed to the formality of sentencing the deceased... I mean the defendant... <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd all rather enjoy hearing the case of the prosecution. Captain Darling, if you please. Sir, my case is very simple. I call my first witness... General Sir Anthony Cecil Hogmanay Melchick. Ah. <laughs> clever, clever! <laughs> General, did you own a lovely, plump, speckly pigeon <laughs> called Speckled Jim, which you hand-reared from a chick and which was your only childhood friend? Yes! <laughs> yes, I did. And did Captain Blackadder shoot the aforementioned pigeon? Yes, he did! Can you see Captain Blackadder anywhere in this courtroom? That's him! That's him! That's the man! Ah! No more questions, sir! Excellent. First class. Put the way, come on. I therefore have absolutely no hesitation in announcing that the sentence of this court is that you, Captain Edmund Blackadder, be taken from this place and suffer death by shooting tomorrow at dawn. Do you have anything to say? Yes. Could I have an alarm call, please? <laughs>